Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix this problem here. An exe file that is uh, compiled uh, using um, launch4j uh, that will always show you this uh, uh, pop-up uh, requiring a runtime environment that you set as a minimum uh, GRE, uh, GRE version. No matter what environment that you have on your system, this error will crop up it's really frustrating okay so as you know um uh, launch4j was uh, strongly cre uh, was uh, hardwired or is hardwired uh, to deal with uh, oracle's jre runtime environment so uh, when you're using adopt open J uh, dk that's uh, it, it becomes a problem and it seems like the guys at launch4j um, don't try to work around this problem uh, as we are waiting for them to fix this problem uh, we have a little bit of a solution that we can go uh, on uh, that we can use uh, because as you can see uh, i've set my minimum uh, jre version to 11 and i have uh, uh, jre where you go where you go, where you go let me just uh, get something to show you here quickly I uh, can try to run bash here, just run some code and show you that uh, my Java runtime environment, okay, is set to the minimum version, but nevertheless, the program uh, uh, launch4j uh, and executable created from uh, using launch4j launch does not seem to pick this up. So yeah, anyway, how do you fix that? All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go back to Launch4j and uh, here in bundled JRE, instead of bundling our, because I didn't want to bundle my uh, executable with uh, JRE, I didn't want to make it big. In fact, it beats the whole point of uh, creating a program uh, with Java because then what about if my program is to be ran on Mac? What do I do? So I didn't want to bundle it with uh, JRE. So what I did was um, um, I pasted... Uh, uh, Java home uh, um, variable as the JRE path and then I decided to remove uh, the minimum and uh, whatever maximum JRE versions I save and then uh, after I save then I test run the, um, the the executable and there we go it runs so this is a temporary fix uh, as we're waiting for the guys from Run4j to deal with us uh, so that the program can be able to actually check and see if the runtime environment that I have specified in the minimum runtime environment is there, then the program should not ask or should not ask the, um, the, the user to go and download it. Uh, for now, this works. Um, uh, uh, if I use Java home uh, variable, uh, env system env uh, environment variable, uh, it does uh, do the trick. Uh, and uh, if it has helped you guys, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the channel, uh, the video and share the video, but also subscribe to the channel. Uh, this keeps us making these little videos that would save you time, otherwise uh, that you would have to spend uh, trying to research these kind of things. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, peace and out.